Hey everyone, this is Mike. One of the guys on the tractor forum had some questions on uh, LED lights and how I hooked it up. Um, well, it's about 3 degrees outside today. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning, obviously. And uh, so I'm out at the tractor. I thought I'd show them how I hooked up my lights. Um, at the top here is a 21 inch LED light with floods on the end and a spotlight in the middle. Uh, and I got this from another um, tractor uh, by net member. Uh, he used magnets to hook it up to the um, roll bar. As you can see, right about there. So you have to drill a little bit through the center of the magnet. I got them at Home Depot. And um, <clears throat> ground off the end. Because uh, once it was through, it was sticking out just a little bit. And then it would just wobble on the roll bar. So I had to grind it down a little bit, the bolt. And after it was, that was done, it was perfectly fine. And it holds on there nice and tight and strong, no problem. <clears throat> anyway, I got the 21 inch on one switch. And I also bought a couple of bear claws <clears throat> facing rearward um, on another switch. And there's the other one. And I have the wiring going up behind the roll bar. Yeah, right there. And I got the quarter inch... Um, wire loom at Harbor Freight. I couldn't find it anyplace else. And I just zip tied it to the top. All around. And it comes down. Eh, it's a little hard to see because it's so dark in here. And I zip tied it. It comes down. And there was a rubber plug right over here. I took that out and I fished the wire through. Comes down on the back. And it goes in tight um, down under the tractor through the wire loom holders that were already there. You just bend the tabs out and I tuck these in and, and bent it back in again. And the wires go up to the dash and then from the dash up to the front of the uh, the tractor to the battery. Uh, something else to mention, um, I'm back at the tractor again. Um, the ground wires for the lights on the roll bar, I just grounded right over here at the bottom of the roll bar since the whole tractor is grounded out. And only the power wires, the two power wires, go to the front of the tractor by the battery. And I'll show you that in a second. Alright, back again. Uh, the two <coughs> 12 volt power wires that go to the lights <coughs> on a roll bar I have running inside a wire loom um, going along this way I think that's it right right there where I got the light and then that goes up to a couple of relays um, in the front over here bought these relays online for like, I think it was like eight bucks or ten bucks or six of them. Uh, right here. These two relays. So yeah, the wires come up here uh, to power the uh, LED lights on the roll bar. And other wires come here from the uh, two switches on the dash, which I'll show you. And you'll see the rest of the wire loom over here that I have. And it just goes up under <coughs> underneath the um, hood and it goes back that way back to the uh, dash switches something else I did on a side note um, in one of the other videos I, I put out I put dielectric grease and just put all electrical connections I could find and even inside here this is probably a relay and since there was no <coughs> tab to hold it in tight I just put a wire tie around it just so it wouldn't, you know, slip out over time with dielectric grease inside the inside the uh, contacts. So those wires that go from the relay, it's kind of hard to get in. Uh, you see the wire loom right here. It goes down, and I drilled a little hole in the bottom, 
and just fed it through the firewall and feeds through kind of hard to see but over there right underneath there I put a hole in the firewall and the wires then feed up up, up behind the, um, the dash over here and here are the two switches there they are right behind I know it's dark but it's so cold out I really don't want to start up the tractor um, right there you'll see the two switches that I bought online for a couple of bucks and I just had to cut the holes a little bigger that were there and you'll see when the lights are on hopefully well oh, man I tight now it's so cold you'll see that they light up as well and you'll see the uh, how bright they are the LEDs so like I said the 21 inches on one switch and the two bear claws are on another switch and I like having them on the, on the magnets because I can then just twist it a little bit this way or that way if I want to get focused on different areas um, let me just shut these off. oh yeah and <clears throat> the power to the switch comes from a wire I found Sorry about the crummy video, but it's tough to try to do this by myself. There it is. Yeah, this was all by itself, not hooked up to anything. And so I figured, what the heck? I tried it out with the voltmeter, and it only gets power when the switch is on, when the key switch is on. So I just put a connector in there, and I use that to, to get power to the switch up here. And then this gets wired, those two switches, um, the wires go to the front by the relay. And that engages the relay to send the battery 12 volts back to the lights. Um, the ground for the switch, I put, uh, I put right, right over, let's see if I can find it there. Right there on the floor. Um, since all tractors grounded out, I just put the grounds wherever I could, you know, run the wire right too easy enough. And that's it. And it, and it works pretty good. And I tell you what, LEDs are the greatest thing to put on a tractor uh, if you use it at all at night. It's not that bad to put on. That probably took me, uh, I'd say, about four to five hours or so, four to six hours, to get it all wired up. And that's about it. Oh. So, something happened while I was taking this video. I noticed there was water on the ground, uh, radiator fluid. And I said, ah, nuts. What the hell happened now? Did it spring a leak somewhere? Or did it freeze? And you'll see radiator fluid down there. And I'm saying, all right, I had the engine block heater in overnight. So I was going to start it up today and use it to plow. Then I changed my mind. And... I traced the engine block heater wire back. Now I'm on the left side of the tractor. It is. It is right back there. And as it turns out, it was dry all around it. So there's the radiator fluid. And I followed it back up. And there's a little bit right over there. As it turns out, it was, it was this hose right there. I just had to tighten up the clamp a little bit, and uh, and that should do it, I hope. I'm going to dry it all off and see if it's still leaking. Uh, but I guess in all this cold weather, it makes the rubber really hard so it doesn't seal as nice. And I guess that's why I really don't need to start up the tractor today. <coughs> not going to. I got a plow truck with a quarter of a million miles on it that I use for plowing as well, but that also sprung a radiator leak yesterday. My brother-in-law and nephew were using it. The radiator is all rusted out. But between that, and I also have an old, old ATV, 
I was, I was able to get that started and finish plowing the driveway. And maybe tomorrow if it warms up, I'll start up the tractor and just clean up some of the piles of snow. And um, I'll probably take a quick video of that, of that and see how well it starts up uh, in this extreme cold. All right, any questions on the uh, LED lights and how I hooked it up, just uh, drop me a comment and I'll be happy to share any information I have. Good luck. Bye. Oh, subscribe if you think this video is helpful. Thanks. Bye-bye. I thought I'd draw up a little diagram of how I think I hooked up my LED lights on a tractor um, over the summer. Um, so if you look here, this is the wire that's under the dash. And it's a low amp 12 volt coming in. And it only gets power when the key switch is turned on the tractor. And there's a low amp inline fuse in here as well I put in. Uh, so the 12 volt comes in. And once the switch is flipped for the LED light, it sends 12 volts coming out from the switch, feeding into the relay over here. And the relay gets power from the battery. And here's a higher amp uh, fuse. Um, I had it match up close to a little bit more than the amperage that the lights would use. And the 12 amp, once the, the switch is on over here, it takes the 12 volts that come in from the battery, feeds it out this way, and goes up and feeds the lights. All the ground wires just ground out to the nearest bolt that hooks up to the frame, so they're all just grounded to the frame. And um, that's it. These are the two bear claw lights. The bar light hooks up the same way on a, just a different switch, a different relay. And um, so that's it. That's how I. That's how I remember hooking it up. Um, the two bear claw lights, I think, were either 27 watts each or 37 watts. Somewhere right around there. And they were pretty darn bright. The bar light, I remember, was 120 watts of power. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Any questions, just let me know.